Did you know that Belarus makes you pay a special unemployment tax if you're jobless for too long? Or that one African country tried to make farting in public illegal? I'm Mike with List 25, and today we're diving headfirst into downright unbelievable legal oddities that are still in effect around the globe. From illegal flip-flop rules to a place where you're not allowed to die, here are 25 shocking laws around the world that are still in effect. 25. Camouflage Clothing Are you packing for a Caribbean holiday? Or Caribbean, depending on how you pronounce it? Well, hold the camo. In many island havens like Jamaica, Barbados, Grenada, and the Bahamas, among others, sporting camouflage clothing is a big no-no. This seemingly harmless fashion choice can land you in hot water with hefty fines or even jail time. In these countries, camouflage is often associated with military personnel or, unfortunately, criminal gangs. So rocking your camo pants can be seen as disrespectful or worse, a potential threat to public safety. 24. Bike riding in Mexico. On the road, safety is paramount. Even more so on motorcycles or bicycles, where there is little to no protection around your body in case of a collision. The officials in Mexico agree, so pedaling without both of your feet on a bicycle can result in a criminal charge. It may seem silly in the modern era with specialized hydraulic action brakes, mainly since this rule dates back to the 1800s when a collision between a carriage and a cyclist spurred the law into action, but there is indeed a method to the madness. Mexico's streets can be bustling and unpredictable, so having both feet firmly planted on the pedals can give you excellent and instant braking control, especially in crowded areas or uneven terrain. 23. Flip-flops in Spain While rocking your favorite pair of flip-flops in Spain is perfectly legal, wearing them while driving could land you in trouble. The Guardia Civil has made it clear. Driving with footwear that hinders your control of the pedals is a no-go. This means your trusty flip-flops, with their tendency to slip and slide, might not be the best choice when you take on the Spanish roads. Sorry, guys. Although I need a new pair anyway. Look how thin that's gotten. These are getting old. Bye. 22. It's illegal to sing while you're wearing a bathing suit in Florida. Did you know that belting out your best beach tunes while wearing a swimsuit is technically not allowed here in the Sunshine State? This eccentric law, likely intended to maintain public decorum in earlier times, still exists in the books. However, it's rarely enforced, so feel free to let your inner Adele loose, regardless of your swimwear. Just be mindful of your fellow sunbather's ears. 21. Cutting down a saguaro cactus in Arizona. I've always been a little afraid of cacti. They're prickly and imposing, and often can be found precisely where they shouldn't be. As much as one may be tempted to hack down the prickly green foe, if you're in Arizona, maybe you should check what species of cacti is wrong to you. Because if the cactus you have just hacked down happens to be a saguaro cactus, it can land you in prison for up to 25 years. These iconic desert residents are legally protected, even landowners considering their removal must face a mandatory process. Before you even think of swinging that axe, you must contact the Arizona Department of Agriculture and obtain a permit, complete with proper tagging of the cactus. This isn't just because the saguaro happens to be some higher up's favorite cactus. Saguaro cacti are incredibly slow growing, taking centuries to mature. They're considered vital components of the Arizona landscape, so massacring the cactus won't be taken lightly. 20. Bingo Rules There are very specific rules licensed nonprofit agencies must adhere to when it comes to North Carolina bingo. Firstly, bingo nights can only happen twice a week, so that players and organizers have time to catch their breath and prepare for the next round. Second, there is a 48-hour cooldown between sessions. And lastly, games are not allowed to last longer than five hours. 19. If you don't pick up after your dog in Capri, you could face a DNA test. In the picturesque paradise of Capri, failing to scoop up after your pooch carries a hefty price tag, both figuratively and literally. To combat the unwelcome um, gifts left by some canine companions, the island has implemented a strict rule. Clean up or face a 2,000 euro $2, fine and potentially a DNA test for your dog. 
This no-nonsense approach keeps Capri, famous for its pristine streets and stunning views, spotless for both tourists and residents. 18. It's forbidden to climb trees in Oshawa, Canada. In Oshawa, Canada, scaling city trees is a definite no-no. This strange law isn't meant to stifle long-limbed ambitions, but to protect the safety of Oshawa's residents. While visions of city officials chasing spandex-clad climbers might be chuckle-worthy, the concern is real. Tree climbing accidents happen, and Oshawa takes its citizens' well-being seriously. They just want to prevent injuries and preserve the city's greenery. So good for you, Canada. I wish my state cared for my safety and didn't prevent me from singing in my swim trunks. 17. Sharing your Netflix password. Have you ever shared a Netflix password? Well, in Tennessee, that simple act of charity could land you in a lot of trouble. The Tennessee login law, tucked away under an updated cable TV theft statute, makes distributing login information for online services like Netflix and iTunes a crime. Passing your password to friends, family, or even neighbors who always ask for recommendations becomes a potential misdemeanor, punishable by a hefty $2,500 fine and up to a year in jail. While the law originally targeted commercial piracy, its application to personal password sharing remains to be seen and is untested in court. 16. Unmarried Qatari women under the age of 30 are not permitted to check into hotels. Navigating life as an unmarried Qatari woman under 30 can be an obstacle course of restrictions. They're not allowed to check into hotels, travel plans hinge on a male guardian's approval, and the freedom to move about can be taken away by their father, whether they like it or not. This web of limitations, often underpinned by tradition and religion, paints a stark picture of gender inequality. Even the choice to be a mother becomes subject to legal scrutiny, with unmarried women facing prosecution when it comes to extracurricular relations. 15. The Malawian Air Fouling Legislation I know the title says shocking laws that are in effect, not ones that almost came into effect, but this one was just too good not to be added to today's list. The Malawian air fouling legislation of 2011 was an attempt to promote public decency by prohibiting fouling the air. The Minister of Justice at the time, Rafael Casambara, fueled the fire by stating that the law indeed included flatulence. His statement quickly went viral with headlines like Malawi to ban farting in public and don't drop the F-bomb in Malawi, gracing news outlets worldwide. Although he later retracted his claim, the local court's bill, including the air fouling clause, failed to be enacted. It faced criticism for being vague and unenforceable, and all the international mockery likely played a role in its demise. 14. Riding a motorcycle in Pakistan In Pakistan, riding a motorcycle with a friend can get you arrested on certain public holidays. Even though exact dates, holidays, and protocols may differ, the two key factors driving these restrictions remain the same, public safety and cultural norms. Roughly 70% of motorized two-wheeled vehicles in Pakistan are motorcycles. With such a huge portion of the population relying on this particular mode of transportation, regulations, such as the holiday double rider ban, seek to ensure the safety and comfort of all road users during periods of such increased cultural significance. 13. No gambling in Monaco, if you were born there. Monaco's own citizens are indeed barred from the very activity that built the principality's fortune. Gambling. The rule dates back to the 19th century, a clever strategy implemented by the royal family to address two pressing concerns. Firstly, with coffers running dry, Monaco needed to transform itself into a playground for the world's wealthy, enticing them with lavish casinos and tax-free havens. But secondly, the royals also wanted to protect their own citizens from the potential perils of gambling. Thus, a two-tiered system arose. Monaco became a gambling paradise for foreigners, while its own residents were subtly discouraged from partaking. 12. Forgetting to hang the national flag from your home on Independence Day in Chile. Patriotism takes on a literal form in Chile every year on Independence Day, September 18th and 19th. The law mandates that every private and public building display the national flag as a symbol of pride. This year, authorities are reminding citizens of this tradition, emphasizing that neglecting to fly the flag can result in fines ranging from 40,000 to 400,000 Chilean pesos, approximately 45 to 450 US dollars, depending on the severity of the offense. 11. 
condiment control in Uruguay. <laughs> Forget shaking salt on your fries in Montevideo, Uruguay's capital city has declared war on sodium. In a bid to tackle soaring hypertension rates, almost 40% of the population, authorities have implemented a unique law, banning table salt and salty condiments like ketchup and mayonnaise from restaurants. Restaurants have to comply with the guidelines, offering low sodium alternatives and menu warnings about high salt options. Whether this condiment crackdown proves effective remains to be seen. 10. You've got to love the Netherlands. In the bicycle kingdom of the Netherlands, keeping your head safe is a personal choice, but neglecting your bike's light and bell is a surefire way to land in hot water. This eccentric law might seem illogical compared to countries prioritizing personal safety, but it reflects the Dutch philosophy of encouraging responsible cycling. I should also mention that the optional helmet rule doesn't mean the Dutch are reckless daredevils. Studies suggest their low accident rates stem from factors like excellent cycling infrastructure, comprehensive education from an early age, and a general emphasis on shared responsibility between cyclists and other road users. 9. When you're not allowed to die. Longyearbyen, a remote Norwegian town in the Arctic, holds a curious distinction. It's technically illegal to die there. While this might sound like something out of a macabre fairy tale, the reason behind it is surprisingly practical. The permafrost, permanently frozen ground, makes traditional burials impossible. Digging graves is a monumental task, and even then, bodies wouldn't decompose in the freezing temperatures, potentially creating environmental concerns. As such, when illness knocks on the door, residents of Langyerbien embark on a journey over 2,000 kilometers away to the Norwegian mainland to get vital medical care and to be able to make appropriate final arrangements, respecting the limitations of Langyerbien's environment. 8. Whatever you do, don't burst into dance spontaneously. Sweden's nightlife comes with an unexpected snag. Dancing freely in pubs and bars isn't allowed. A relic of the 1970s, a dance permit remains obligatory if an establishment wants to host dancing customers. The law's application raises eyebrows. It doesn't apply to tourists, which can confuse regulations. Apart from that, calls for its abolishment are gaining momentum. Proponents argue the system is unnecessarily bureaucratic and stifles nightlife. So, while celebrating with a spontaneous jig in a Swedish pub might seem harmless, it's advisable to inquire about the establishment's dance permit status before you get too carried away. 7. Buying alcohol in Finland In Finland, purchasing alcoholic beverages is strongly regulated according to time restrictions. From 9 a.m. until 9 p.m., kiosks and supermarkets, as well as other retail outlets, are freely allowed to sell their alcoholic goods. However, as soon as that clock strikes 9 p.m., buying alcohol at these outlets becomes prohibited, effectively putting a stop to late-night alcohol runs. So, anyone who hasn't bought their drinks in advance will have to find their way to a restaurant or another licensed establishment to satiate their thirst for beverages of the more robust variety. 6. The Tax Laws in Belarus Believe it or not, in Belarus you get taxed for being unemployed. A recent decree slapped a new charge on those out of work. They have to pay extra for public services like water, heat, and even taking the bus. Yeah, they have to pay extra just for the basics. Supporters say it's a kick in the pants to get job hunting, but critics are very vocal about their dislike of the new rules. I don't know, what do you think? How someone already financially struggling is supposed to manage extra bills on top of their unemployed status? And will this pay-to-be-jobless scheme really push people into jobs or push them deeper into debt? I'm actually a bit torn. 5. Don't write on the John Lennon Wall The John Lennon Wall in Prague embodies youth, rebellion, and free speech, and it's adorned with colorful expressions and artwork. It emerged in 1980, following the death of John Lennon. This tribute to free expression, however, comes with an unusual caveat. Any graffiti, regardless of size, is illegal. This rule, contradictory to the wall's essence, creates a fascinating paradox. The law's vagueness complicates matters even more. There's no clear boundary defining the wall's borders, leaving visitors in the dark. Even a small inscription could land you in legal trouble, alongside up to a year in prison. 4. Sleeping and snoring in Croatia Can you imagine taking a nap in a park and waking up to a fine? That's what could happen under a proposed law update in Croatia. 
Sleeping in public places, even if you snore loudly, doubling the amount, will see you fined. And forget catching some vitamin D on your own balcony, that's also forbidden and could come with jail time. But here's the twist. Supplying alcohol to a minor, a serious offense in many countries, is treated rather lightly in Croatia, and perpetrators come off relatively scot-free. 3. Driving without a fire extinguisher Before going for a drive in Bulgaria, you should know there are stricter safety regulations than you might be used to. Every car must have a mandatory emergency kit, including a first aid kit, reflective jacket, and warning triangle. Every car must also have a fire extinguisher, leaving no excuses for unpredictable emergencies. Alcohol, the common pitfall on vacation, is also dealt with swiftly. A zero-tolerance blood alcohol limit of 0.05% means that even a single celebratory toast can trigger costly consequences of not only a sizable fine, but potentially a six-month to one-year license suspension. You know, I have no issues with that. Nobody should ever, ever drink and drive. Two, Bhutan's mountain climbing laws. In Bhutan, majestic peaks aren't mere trophies to snag, but sacred homes to gods and spirits, fiercely protecting the country's heart and soul. Climbing expeditions above 6,000 meters, 19,685 feet, are a resounding no-go. This unwavering reverence has preserved the country's crown jewel, Gangkar Puensum, the world's highest unclimbed slope, a stunning monument to Bhutan's dedication to its spiritual and natural heritage. 1. Cheating during final exams In Bangladesh, students as young as 14 can go to jail for up to three years if they're found cheating on their final exams. I kid you not. Because of the country's emphasis on educational standards and incredibly high-stakes exams, they are extremely tough on academic dishonesty, which I think is a good thing. However, the long-term consequences of teen imprisonment raise concerns about proportionality and the potential negative impact on Bangladesh's youth. While academic integrity is unquestionably important, critics argue that extreme measures may be counterproductive, driving students into even more desperate behaviors or harming their mental health. So, what's a shocking law from your neck of the woods? Let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and check out our social medias, including my personal ones. Links in the description below. It's okay, it's legal to do all of that. And if you like today's list, you'll love the list we did a while back on some of the biggest mysteries in history, from the Taos hum to the SETI project's wow signal. It lasted 72 seconds, it's never been detected again. You'll be glad you clicked on the link that should be appearing right here. Hopefully that timed well. Otherwise, I'm just staring at a wall. But check this out. So you'll enjoy that one. Trust me. Bye, guys. Also, I'm exhausted. It is 2.13 in the morning. I have to stop doing these very, very late.